rocket. Yeah. Here's my little soapbox for this episode. I've been doing comedy for a little while now. Not a tremendously long amount of time, but not really a tremendously short amount of time. And what I've realized in that amount of time is the longer that you do comedy, the less you think you know, which is actually a good thing. We can just approach it from the other way. The less you've done comedy, the more you think you know, and the more you do it, the more you're going to find out. I got a good lesson last night. Uh, from a super pro uh, on how to rewrite a joke uh, made all the difference in the world. Also, made me feel good to realize that I don't know everything because I don't. I really don't. Like, and if you if you pay attention to me, you'll realize I know very little, extremely little, very little. All right, we got a lucky, lucky, lucky clip here. We were lucky to have him. He was. Uh, in town for just a short period of time. One of the funniest guys I know, Mr. Lewis Johnson. Let's check out what he's got to say at the Highlands Comedy Show. This guy's got to catch a plane because he, he's a Denver native, but he does comedy all over the world. Comedy works regular, and he's going to, on a cruise to entertain some fine folks. Let's give it up for Lewis Johnson. Oh, come on, you gotta clap when I walk up. Hello, hello, let me hear it. Come on, hello. I'm born and raised in uh, Denver, Colorado. Five points where I'm from, yeah. Yeah, five points has changed, it has changed. I was driving through there the other day and a guy comes walking around the corner. He's got two llamas and a goat. Who does that? <laughs> How much disposable income do you have in your life to where you sit around going, you know what, man? I had a real good year. <laughs> I'm gonna do something different this year, man. I think I'm gonna get a couple of llamas. And you feel like, llamas, you hear this fool? He wants to get llamas, really? Llamas? Why don't you just get a goat, too? Fuck you, I'm gonna get a goat, too. <laughs> and I'm gonna walk them around the ghetto. <laughs> Why do you have llamas and goats? What do you got some sort of exotic cheese and sweater factory in your basement? You part of Michael Vick Underground Alpaca Fighting Association? Goodness, man. The world is too jaded because if people just see him walking through the neighborhood, you can Google two llamas and a goat Denver, you see photos of. It, and it doesn't bother anybody that this white guy's walking around with these potentially dangerous animals in the ghetto, okay? Wouldn't it be funny if we found out the black Muslims owned all the Cracker Barrel restaurants? <laughs> but it was just a better inside joke for them, right? Here we go. It's like the fifth time this song's been on since I served on the car joke, sir. Work is always a lot of fun. I'm glad that I went back to clown college. make balloon animals at work apparently. It's Friday, so why not prepare for the Sabbath with some modest Yahoo. Almond Brothers, always fun. Have a good day.